So I said, no, actually, it was a duck, right? <laughs> so long story short, I didn't make bail. Anyway, oh, uh, Speedrun Ragnarok, welcome back. Um, <laughs> hi, everyone. This is Speedrun Ragnarok 2022. My name is Oregon Mike. I am your host for this next run. Uh, Speedrun Ragnarok is once more supporting Take This, a wonderful charity devoted to mental health causes. They provide education on mental illness so that friends, families, members, and co-workers can be better allies to those who are suffering. It is a wonderful cause. Uh, anyway, I'm glad to be here for this, unfortunately, sh one shift, but I'm going to make the most of it. And uh, having already done a run, I am hyped up for the rest of this marathon. Uh, and I'm very, very proud to introduce to you P. Cole, who is going to be running QT for us. P. Cole, take it away. Hi, it's me, Pico. I'm the, the one doing QT. Um, this is a game of three different levels, QT, Museum, and Cohen, you can see here. Um, this game is a parody of PT, uh, which was a, like, I don't know if it was a launch title, it was a, at least an early title on the PS4. Um, it was like a showcase or something of a potential Silent Hill game that Kojima is making, and then that Silent Hill game ended up getting cancelled. And then this game is a parody of that cancelled game, of, of PT, and then this game just exists, and that's what I'm running today. Um, this first level here, QT, there's going to be a small cutscene where we have to stand up off the floor, and then once I gain control from that cutscene is when time is going to start. So I'm just going to load into... QT here, and then time will start once I get up off the floor and gain control from this cutscene. There's a little cutscene, and time starts now, let's go. So first thing, big hallway here, frog on the ceiling. I don't know if that matters for an achievement, but I always get it anyway because why not? We always love frogs, right? Uh, we're gonna open this door. There is a little thing that spawns back there, but I always like looking at the door just because it's faster. We're already facing the door anyway, we don't need to turn around. Um, but we're going to enter first loop here, this is friend loop. Going into friend loop here, we are going to collect different items in each of these different loops. If I can remember where they all are. I'm going to get this little duck painting on the hall, on the dresser here, and then get this thing on the ladybug door. We're going to collect um, different like shreds of paper that will open the bathroom door later. Um, bathroom door is going to be important once we open it. Uh, this is second loop, construction loop. We're going to go behind this little construction man, get this thing on the dresser here, go for the wall because walls do not exist in QT, get the bottle, get this soda. This soda is going to be important in like a minute. Um, so we are going to get the little balloon thing here and then there's a little piece of paper behind this PC down here. Go down this hallway, hopefully I have enough soda. Blue fish, give soda to this blue fish because as we all know, fish love soda. Uh, this is skeleton loop as evidenced by skeleton man. We're going to go over this dresser, get the micro city, and then we leave. That's all we have to do here. Uh, best achievement in the game, press seven on the keyboard, get an achievement. That's all you gotta do. We enter fish loop. Fish loop is such a vibe, it's so chill. Uh, but we go over here towards the friend soda, get this thing on the dresser here, and then there's a little shred of paper on the ceiling behind little lizard man here. Uh, we don't need to be in fish loop anymore, we're done with fish loop, little lemon head fish man, let's go, shout outs to him. Best guy. Uh, we're going to go to this next loop, uh, this is a little spider loop. We're going to go this way past the policeman, get this thing on the dresser over here, and then there should be... Yes, a thing behind the cactus on here, and then we leave. Don't need to be in spider loop anymore. On to the next loop. I'm seeing some sevens show up in chat. Get all your sevens. Seems, like, a little cat. seems like everyone wants that achievement. Yeah, you forgot to delete it because it turned into a cat. We're going to get this little last thing here that opens the bathroom door. Bathroom door is kind of RNG. Sometimes it opens faster or slower. It keeps boat opening slower for me, but we get the running shoes here. Uh, that's gonna let us run fast, so I'm gonna wait here for a little bit. There's Lisa, we got Lisa. 
And now we're gonna run faster because we got the running shoes. We get this thing on the land over the land the lamp over here. Turn off this radio with the leave. Done with that loop. And hopefully that gives us orange pot loop. Yes. We got orange pot loop, that's really, which means we know we did everything correctly. Uh, get the little flower man that opens that door. We'll be there in a second. Enjoy every loop. We just gotta get through this last loop for that one achievement. Uh, we're going to go to the little doorway that we just opened up this way. There's gonna be a little man that spawns in the door in the doorway here. And then we're going into a black area. Dark scary section, don't get scared chat. Turn off this generator, go through this wall. Because again, walls don't exist. We're gonna borrow our friend's game. We can give it back to them at school next week. Uh, this is the one loud sound in the entire game, so don't get scared chat. This is very scary, the scariest part in the entire game. Turn off second generator, go for this wall, because again, walls don't exist. Um, smiley face achievement on the candle. My game likes to freeze there for some reason. That's been doing it a lot recently. I don't know why, don't ask me. Um, but we get the fine smiley face achievement from that candle. Um, we get to go through this wall because walls don't exist for like the fourth time. Weeble. Weeble is gone. He was a little character in the demo but not in the full game for some reason. I don't know why. Turn off this generator. There's a little man in this doorway. Get this bottle. Get this soda. We're gonna go around this way. There's a little man in this doorway. Give soda to this, ye to this yellow man. And then this section is going to be a bit hard because this section is going to be blind of movement. Throw soda at that painting. I am now blind. I'm trying to collect the frog in the other room that you might have saw. I don't know if I'm in the room. I'm in the room. I heard the dogs. I got the frog. I'm trying to spawn all the frogs. Or all the dogs. I got the frog. Okay, I don't know where I am, but I'm in the room at least. Okay, there we go. Spawn all of these dogs. Spawn all these dogs by just running around the corners. Bark, 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 bark. Go in here, get this bottle, get this other soda. Gonna do one last run around just to make sure I got all the dogs. Because sometimes they escape me. Just gonna make sure I got all these dogs. Yes. I got the frog. So we're gonna go down this way. Sneak past the guards. I don't know what that means. Uh, get the bag, that is another thing from PT. Touch the wall for nothing at all. We go through this hallway. These little winding hallways. And then we're gonna go up these stairs. And then that is going to be the end of this first level here once we find our best friend up this hallway here. He's a little blue little guy. Look at this guy waving. But this is our best friend for this level. We have three best friends that we each have to find on each level. This is our best friend for QT. My menu. Find our best friend. And then we get into Museum. Museum is going to be a little wild. It's pretty fast paced, even more than that one. So Seems like things are going pretty well. Yep. Yeah, once we get into Museum, we're going to break these boxes, get this time crystal, touch this trash can. We're going to turn all the trash cans blue. The trigger for activating them is at the very top. Get the horse, extend arms to level 3, get this key. As I said, already fast paced enough. Um, extend arms to the wall to get this painting. Go up this way, get this soda. This is the part in the run where the soda starts being on top of the vending machines instead of on the ground next to it. Um, we're going to turn this trash can blue, go down this hallway, turn this painting yellow, get this horse, turn this painting yellow, turn this painting yellow, turn this painting yellow, and then we're going to go up around these stairs. That jump is a little hard for me. Um, get this time crystal. Jump over these gators, get this horse, I'm out of soda, I'm gonna have to come back for that little yellow guy. Um, get this horse, get this painting, extend arms through the ceiling for painting and the second key. If I can get it, there we go. Uh, and then we just wait for salad. We just watch salad for like 10 seconds. How are we doing in chat, gamers? You like watching salad? I was just thinking. You know, uh, if people wanted to get that seven achievement, a good place might to to type that in might be in the donation box, where you can donate money to take this in contribution to an AFK room at a new at another convention or event. Chat, you want to start a seven dollar hype train for a seven achievement? Let's go. Let's do it, chat. Jump on top of this dog. Oh no, I fell. That's the first time I ever fell from doing that jump. But I'm trying to jump on top of this little very thin dog. And then, if I can get on top of him, please. There we go. Jump sideways. 
and then we're going to find our best friend for, for a museum. Um, but this is not the end of the museum yet, we still have stuff to do. So instead of going to the main menu, I'm going to resume. And we're going to leave. Uh, we got museum on nightmare difficulty. Um, all that does is before the run, I turn on a setting called nightmare difficulty that literally changes nothing in the entire game except for give you that one achievement. Um, so if you want a free achievement, just turn nightmare, nightmare difficulty, go into that room, find your best friend, free achievement. Um, jump this way. First try, let's go. And then get Spider Man. Let's go, Spider Man. Get more soda. I'm going to go back real quick for the guy I forgot as I ran out of soda. There's no on-screen timer or anything for how much soda you have. Um, it just kind of like runs out over time or however many sodas you throw. Um, but he got his soda now, he's happy. So we're gonna go back through dog room here. Shout out to Rainbow Dog right here. Let's go, best dog. Uh, we're gonna jump all the way back down here and get back on the route. Get more soda. Go over here, get this horse, turn this painting yellow. Trash can blue. Lots of colors, let's go. We have our first $7 hype train donation from Margaret Ann. Anyone else want to put $7 in for that seven achievement? So we turn a painting yellow and a trash can at the same time. Uh, more blind movement, so I'm trying to get down into the basement and get a horse. Don't know where I am. This one is kind of the hardest one for me. I'm just clicking wildly. I was behind the horse. Let's go. I went too far. But we got the horse going down into the basement. Turn this trash can blue. Go down into a pair room inside the basement. There's going to be a little guy behind this box here. Hit his cassette. Go around these little pairs, turn this painting yellow, get the final key that opens that little yellow area, get all keys, and there should be a little guy behind this pair here. Sometimes my game glitches and he decides not to be there, but he's been there a lot for me recently, so good RNG. Um, get the time crystal, go up these stairs, we're done with the basement, then we're going to go up into that area that I just opened with the keys. Extend our arms to the ground here for Lock cassette down. guy, alligators, crocodiles, I don't know the difference, don't ask me. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but we're gonna find our biggest friend in the universe, he is perfect and flawless. Uh, get the soda up here. Did I get it? I did not get it. Give me a soda, there we go. And there's gonna be a second fish inside this pot. Fish love soda, let's go. And I'm gonna leave. That is the only area in this game where the music has lyrics in it. Um, but if you do want to listen to the soundtrack, you can get it for free off Steam. You don't even need to buy the game, but you should buy the game because it's good and it's only like five dollars. Uh, time crystal. And then we wait in the hot springs for like a second. Hot springs, touch the eels, uh, pet the ditto. Anyone else like petting the ditto? Uh, I get this horse. And then we're gonna get this horse up here. And I'm gonna go up here, and then there's a screaming boy you can hear behind the wall. You can find the Touch the button. final cassette, get the little painting, get the trash can, go for the wall, shut him up. Get this horse, jump down into the store. Try not to steal anything from the store. Put our arm the, through uh, the wall, or the ground. So much fun. Get the cassette, jump on top of this painting, or this vending machine, if I can actually get the bottle, please. There we go. Get the soda. And then touch him. And then I might have to reset if I didn't steal anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to reset uh, because it, I think I might have stole something from the store, so I'm just gonna have to wait around here for like an extra 10 seconds. Uh, that's why we stunt, try to extend our arms to the floor, so, so we don't try to steal anything, but I always end up stealing every, anything accidentally, because uh, I'm bad. Uh, so it's a little bit of a time loss, but whatever. Okay, I guess I did get it, because it didn't pop up. Um, but we're going to go into Cohen now, longest level. Um, we're going to be stuck in a train for a little bit, so if you want to read anything, then you can go ahead and do that. 
I would love to have things to read. That would be fantastic. Meanwhile, I can uh, let people know that their donations are going to support Take This. And uh, Take This reaches out to gaming companies, among other things, to help them promote healthier and more productive work environments, something which has been important recently, and ensure that they have methods in place for helping employees who suffer from mental illness, something else which has been important recently. They're a mental health nonprofit, and their main mission is to inform the gaming community about mental health issues, provide education on different disorders and prevention techniques, and reduce the overall stigma around mental illness. And as someone who was just last week diagnosed with ADHD, this is an important cause to me. Uh, it was important to me before that, but uh, regardless of all that, uh, take this as a wonderful charity, and hopefully you all will uh, see fit to provide, us, provide them some money and provide me some stuff to read. Uh, we just activated our first micro deer beacon in the um, chat. Keep that seven donate dollar donation chain coming. We got sevens all around us. Um, but we're gonna go to this little park right here. Uh, we just activated our first micro deer beacon. That's gonna be one thing we're gonna be activating throughout this entire level. Cone is the longest level, so strap in chat. Get ready for this. If you're not ready already, uh, get this final saw. Get this little yellow man here, he likes cold drinks. There we go. Get the picture and the camera. And now we're gonna take pictures of the deer. I just always do this. I'm not sure if the micro deer beacon actually counts for deer pictures, but I do it anyway. Micro deer beacon, second one. I've never actually counted, so I don't know how many there are, but you know, we're gonna be activating all of them anyway. I know where all of them are. Um, but we're gonna go down to this little deer area. We're gonna get some cookies and donuts or whatever and we're gonna throw them at this deer uh, because if there's one thing we've learned today chat we love we learn that fish love soda and we learn that deer love cookies and donuts so you know go to your local deer park or whatever get bring some cookies bring some donuts go throw them at the deer see what happens. In that way fish and deer are very much like me. They're like all of us honestly. Um. Don't question why the water's all white, chat. My, my game decided to glitch one day and decided to make all the water milk instead of water. Um, and I don't know what happened and I can't fix it, so don't question it. Um, but that's what it is now. Um, but we're gonna go over this hill and then we're gonna be a good citizen and wait at the train crossing, even though it doesn't even matter because no train ever comes at all, ever. The only train we ever see is the one we came in on. So we're gonna wait the train crossing and then we're gonna go down over here towards this tunnel. Um, shout outs to any game developers in chat if there are any, uh, because this deer right here is pretty good at making games actually. So, you know, maybe you might wanna try out one of his games, maybe speedrun it here, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna... I would speedrun a deer game. Speedrun deer games, let's go chat. Um, but we're gonna go all across this giant water. It's supposed to be water, I promise you, but it's but it's white milk for some reason. Um, I promise you I'm going forward even though it doesn't look like it, um, but we're trying to find this little hallway here that spawned. Uh, Maybe because, it's just very snowy. Uh, we'll, we'll get to a snow area later, I promise you. Uh, but this is a Cohen friend, so we're gonna go all the way back to this little beach. Um, giant hill in the background, and he also shouts to his smiley face cursor, it's the best cursor ever. It's so good. We're gonna get this micro deer beacon on the beach out here. And then once we get this micro deer beacon, we're gonna go around towards that little white guy there, and we're gonna go around the train. So that spawns that micro deer beacon, go past this little white square guy. Go up this hill, and up this hill is going to be a secret deer garden that we need to find. Um, I don't know if these cookies are required for an achievement or anything, but I just always get them anyway because why not? It lets us throw more cookies, which you know is always a good thing. Throw them into the sky. Where they land, they'll land wherever they want. Whoever finds them, you get cookies and donuts for free. I do enjoy it when it rains pastry. So we find the secret deer garden, we go down this hill. This is another part that's kind of RNG. There's gonna be a little blue guy that spawns from us going between these fences. 
Sometimes he spawns faster or slower. I've had it both ways. He spawned like third try for me. Sometimes he spawned like 15th or 20th try. He is deciding to spawn very late. Uh, this time, so not good. We had a comment in chat about the water suggesting that it's just white water rapids. I mean, it's not really rapids because it's not moving, but you can think what you want. I just say it's milk because, you know, we got cookies in this in this level anyway, so why not? Let me try spinning that way. I don't really spin this way to make him spawn. I don't know if that actually matters. Whitewater slows, it says someone else. This is like the longest it's ever taken him to spawn. There we go. As soon as I say it's the longest time, he spawns right away. There we go, thanks. Sometimes he spawns very really fast, sometimes that happens and he spawns like very really late for no reason. I don't know what makes him spawn, so don't ask me. I don't know what like the exact trigger is, but I know that you have to go between those fences and sometimes he'll decide to spawn, sometimes he won't. You just gotta wait. Um, we're gonna go down here. Uh, earlier we were collecting cookies and donuts, um, but now we're gonna be collecting children. So you know, a big step up in the world. Go from cookies to children. Collect these children, and then I promise you these children are important. They're for an achievement. I'm not collecting children because I'm evil. Um, but we're gonna find a little deer meat, micro deer bacon, collect this child, and then collect this child over here between the trees. There are two other children that we need to collect, but we are going to collect them during this next section up here because once we get up this hill, um, there's going to be another very scary thing that happens, chat, so, you know, don't get scared. Um, but also, it is kind of flashing lights, so maybe you might want to look away, even if you're not scared. Um, but... Oh no, get bit by a snake. Very scary. Scariest thing in the world, chat. I, hit, I now have reversed controls for movement and camera, so now my left and right is reversed. My up and down is not for some reason, but my left and right camera isn't reversed, and I am now holding S to go forward instead of W, so all my movement is reversed. Collect this child, go past this wall, and then there should be another child here with a frog on his head. There he is. Also, I think it looks like your camera's upside down. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Well, it's not a good thing, but that's what happens. Um, but we take this snake venom to the blue mosquito. Flashing lights is over. You can look away again. Or look back chat. Uh, but we go down to this little blue house over here. This is going to be our second to last soda. Get this little child here. Parkour for this soda. Get this vetting machine. This is going to be our final blind movement section. If I can line up it up correctly. Nope. Nope. There we go. So now the hill that I climbed up to get to the snake section, I am climbing that hill again, but blind and backwards. So I can't see where I'm going, and I'm also backwards, so hopefully this all works out. Uh, sometimes you can get stuck on a tree, you can get stuck under one of the platforms, you can get stuck- I got stuck in a tree. Let me out. There we go. I don't know where I am. This is the worst- that was the worst blind movement I've ever had in that section. Nice. I never even seen like that little farm area before because I never end up there. Uh, but we're trying to this is the hill we're trying to climb backwards and blind. But now I have to do it while well forward and being able to see. Uh, because that was bad blind movement. Um, but sometimes I ideally you want to end up like halfway up the hill um, when you do that. But it's hard because you can't see and you're backwards. Uh, but we found a deer that likes snakes, not likes, liked in past tense with a D. Um, don't ask me why he's in a pile of snakes if he doesn't like snakes anymore, but you know, that's his life choices. Don't judge him, chat. Um, but we're gonna go down to this little area down here for micro deer beacon. Go through this fence, get this micro deer beacon, and we're gonna go up around this hill, and there's gonna be more snakes. Um, you know, speaking of snakes, chat, did you know that, um, pythons have legs? We're learning all the things about animals. 
take a picture of a snake. So we learned the age the um, fish love soda, deer love uh, cookies and donuts, and pythons have legs. So you know, those are the, the trifecta of things we learned today. We're learning all the animal facts. Um, but we're gonna go on this bridge. We're gonna stand with two sheep on a bridge. And then while we wait on this sheep, when, on this bridge of this sheep, there's gonna be a giant snake that falls down. There he is. Wait next to these two sheep. There's a clearly a sheep. You've, have you never seen a sheep before, chat? It's a very accurate sheep. There we go. Um, but we're gonna go across this bridge. It's just gonna be a little leaf. Um, the leaf is not for an achievement, but I'm going to collect them anyway because they spawned a little guy. So I'm going to spawn the little guy. Um, there's more sheep. Perfectly accurate sheep. There's the little leaf guy that spawns when you touch all the leaves. Um, but I have a question for you, chat, though. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing if they added a really tall man in the background? There he is. There's the tall man in the background. We did it, chat. I can't believe they actually did that. We're gonna jump all the way down here, get this micro deer beacon down here. Now I'm gonna go across these little wooden platforms over here. I'm gonna go all the way around, past these little wiggly ducks, collect round orange man. This is number one of two of round orange man. There's a tall man chat if you wanna look at him again. I'm just gonna go across this water. Also, yeah, I did not mention it. You can't walk on the water um, because this game is just weird and wacky like that. Um, but we're gonna go up this hill and then we're gonna interact with a little blue man. He's gonna water the cherry blossoms with his spit because that's apparently how that works. Um, but we're gonna interact with him. We're gonna help him water cherry blossoms with his spit. There he goes. Look at all those bubbles. It's a spit bubbles. So we're gonna go around this scaffolding, go up these stairs up here for our final soda bottle. And then there's also gonna be a micro deer beacon up here. This is not the final micro deer beacon, but it is the final soda bottle. So there's the whole vending machines. If I can actually get on top of them. This one is kind of the hardest one because you have to parkour off the little guy that spawns in front of it. Okay, I need to stabilize myself. I need to stop going in circles. There we go. There's the final bottle. Micro deer beacon. Get more soda. Jump down here to the platypus. There's two platypus here. Eggs. And then there's gonna be your final fish over here. Throw soda at this fish. I'm out of soda apparently. I thought I got more, but I, somehow I ran out. Uh, so we're gonna have to go back for a little bit more soda. It would be helpful if you could just pick up the ones off, off the ground that you already threw, but no, you have to go all the way back to the vending machine. Also, don't worry, we have money. We don't need to pay. It makes a coin sound, but we don't have to worry about money. Um, but we're gonna throw a soda at this little fish in here. That is the last fish. Everyone likes fish. The second round orange man. And then we're going to go to uh, snow area, snow village. The snowy fox village. I said there would be snow later. Here is the snow area. This is actually supposed to be white, unlike the water. Uh, well, we're gonna go to fox village. Fox Village is that way, but before we go to Fox Village, we're gonna go left a little bit um, because we need to go into this little house down this way. There's gonna be a mirror and a bottle we have to pick up. Not a soda bottle, a different type of bottle. Um, touch this little mirror. Get this bottle of stars. This game is secretly an RPG chat. Did you know that? You know it's secretly an RPG. We're gonna go past this floating tree. Watch that meter go up, and then once that meter goes up, we are going to reach max level, level 80, let's go! And then we're gonna get this duck, collect this fox out here, and we're gonna start collecting all these foxes and all these deers, chat. We are finally in Fox Village, which also has ducks for some reason, um, but it, it is Fox Village. Uh, we're gonna go to Fox, there's another fox down here. There's a duck here, and then there's 
fox up here and then a duck on this post. There he is. Get these. Take, take pictures of the foxes. Get this duck. There's two foxes up on top of this boulder on this rock. Get this duck down here. Touch the foxes over here. It's cold out there, gamers. You know, it's still February. It's still pretty cold, so, you know, get that duck. I'm watching tremendous amounts of snow fall out my window at this moment. We got snow in real life and in game. Um, but time is going to come up in a little bit once I get to this final micro deer beacon. Watch the little micro deer beacon. There's all the deers. There's the deer god chat. All hail deer god. Look at his little legs. Look at him fly. He's going to go inside the hill to wherever he goes. Um, but time is going to be once we get all my friends are here. There's the final duck. And then all my friends are here. That's time. Let's go. Well done. Good run. It's so good and so weird and wacky. And I will, I will well, thank you, for... you with petting the ditto. Thank you for showing this wonderful thing off for us. Yeah. Um, if you want to catch me on Twitch, I am at pcall 6 and 54 at Twitch and Twitter. Um, I'm trying to learn Sonic Adventure Amy's story right now because I'm gonna be race. I'm trying to race that with a friend. Um, but other than that, I kind of also do like Minecraft pixel art stuff. If you want to see that or like speedruns, I'm on there. Um, I'm also doing QT again in like a week at Frost Hotels on GDQ. Um, on the Monday, I think. So if you want to see this game again, then you can go to GTQ on Monday uh, next week at Frost of Hells, and you can see me do this, do this again. That's fantastic. There's a question from the chat. Uh, all my friends are here. Is that the achievement for getting all other achievements? Um, technically, no, but for the purposes of the run, it is. Um, there is this final all achievements achievement. Um, that is glitched. So we don't include it in the run, even if you get all the other achievements. Um, this one is possible to get, so we just end time once we get all my friends are here instead of that one. Um, so because that one is a glitch, that's why we end with all my friends are here instead of all achievements. Well, thank you for showing it off. Just like to plug this the RPG Valkyries again. Uh, this is Speedrun Ragnarok 2022. That is the correct date. Uh, RPG Valkyries offer a cozy place for speedrunners of all kinds of games to chat and share stories and strategies. Whether you're a novice, expert, or even simply a speedrunning enthusiast, you can find a comfy home in there. They have a Discord. I'm in that Discord. Even despite that, you might want to join them. Just exclamation point Discord in chat to give you a link. Uh, they do events like these, and I quite enjoy them. Uh, anything else you'd like to say, Picol, before we turn this over to the next run? Um, that's it from me. I'm just sitting here vibing, petting ditto. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>